Hi guys, hello, welcome to today's video. My name is Beata, I'm from horoscopesandreadings.com and today I would like to talk about Moon in Partners 8th house. In Sinastri, of course, this video uh, has been highly requested. That's why I decided to make a video about this very, uh, very potent, very deep, and it is actually intimacy placement. There is a lot of room for intimacy with this one, but we will break it down in this video. So uh, before I start, if you are new here and if you like my content, please uh, hit the subscribe button so we can grow our audience. I'm astrologer. I am mainly uh, uh, I'm mainly focused on relationships, but uh, you can obviously order any type of uh, horoscope from me, like personality horoscope, career, money, child horoscope, future predictive horoscope, whatever you want me to do. And I am also a tarot reader. Everything important is written down below this video. Okay, so let's dive in. Well, uh, first of all, this is and this will be uh, if you find yourself in a relationship with someone whose moon is in your eighth house this is gonna be very intense okay you know what i can tell you from my practice uh, this may not be like immediate you know like immediate intimate connection because still eighth house is very hidden you know there's a lot of unconscious stuff going on and Sometimes, uh, you know, it just takes a little while before we even uh, are aware that something as deep is going on here, okay? Unless you have other factors in your synastry, this can very well be the case, obviously. But uh, when it comes to this aspect, I mean, this is very important and it is very significant because that's why, uh, you know, if I see this one going on in, in my clients' uh, Sinastri houses overlay, I am very curious to know why Moon is there, okay? Because there is always a reason why Moon is there because, you know, Moon doesn't feel very well in the 8th house because, you know, 8th house rules Scorpio and obviously moon in scorpio is in fall so so it is very difficult for moon uh, to to be happy there shall we say but uh, what you can expect as a house person that sooner or later you will most likely become obsessed over moon person and you really and you will really start feeling like moon person is really the person who can really fulfill your emotions and even your life, okay? Because, um, because it almost looks like that a house person at some point will feel that it is very difficult to even live without moon person, right? You know, obviously, emotions uh, high, very, uh, emotions run very high with this position, and uh, this this position is not uh, uh, is not very healthy uh, for people. I think in general, but uh, mostly for people who are not used. Or to some sort of very intense emotions. But if you are the person who has like moon square Pluto, moon in the eighth house yourself in your birth chart, so moon to Pluto aspect especially, uh, then um, you might be even seeking, right, uh, this type of connection. So it can be different, right? But for majority of people, this can be just too much to handle, right? Because First of all, house person uh, will be like oversensitive, yeah, because emotions will run very high and house person will be very, very sensitive to whatever moon person is doing, you know, how moon person is staring at house person and, you know, over time, uh, this can actually be or become quite exhausting, right? 
uh, for house person to be constantly triggered because there's a lot of triggering going on and a house person will sooner or, or later uh, feel uh, exhausted and you know yeah even it, it will become like some sort of burden okay and another very important thing in my opinion is that a uh, moon person will have a lot of power over house person okay it's eight house it's all about you know manipulation uh power struggles but it is all going on emotion going on on emotional level okay so it's it is actually um you know moon person is very much uh triggering places in you inside of you or where you feel most vulnerable okay that's why in my opinion um this is not obviously the best placement for moon person and yeah this can for sure cause a lot of heartache for house person but we still have to consider like whole chart okay so so don't get me wrong that you know you are like lost case or something if you have this uh, position but but still you know let's be cautious here because you guys wanted this video but but uh, but this is not la la land right it's, it's like their moon their moon is in your eighth house so moon person very naturally uh will want to manipulate you okay but again this is all very hidden okay so don't expect that you will be able to recognize it like you know um straight away okay it, it may take some time and this placement uh, also creates a lot of like codependency okay uh, it can definitely goes both ways but house person will become emotionally dependent on moon person okay and we all know that uh, emotions and feelings is what really run even our life and our decisions you know uh, all people in media and you know all people who sell things and sell stuffs uh they know that that people buy what they feel connected to okay so it, it it is all about emotions so so that's why i think that house person will probably have very hard time to let moon person go and even vice versa right because it is always a dance okay in sinastri it's always a dance but uh I will still say that in my opinion it will be house person who will be affected more okay let me know in the comments what you think I'm really curious about your experiences I don't have personal experience with this one but I obviously seen a lot of charts of my clients uh, with this particular aspect and uh, uh, what my clients had in common and I think that uh, this is the theme of someone's moon being in your eighth house is that it was not very easy uh, to really know the moon person right who the moon person is who the hell is moon person can I trust the moon person because these are also themes of the eighth house right Okay guys, uh, thank you very much once again for watching. Don't forget that I can offer a bunch of stuff. Everything is written down below in this video. I also offer two courses right now. It's a course, it's advanced course about synastry and composite chart. And another one is about Lilith because Lilith is actually very strange, very underrated, but very important in synastry. And I have actually a bunch of videos about Lilith. You can check them out as well. Because Lilith, together with Pluto, uh, cause the obsession 
and you know a lot of actually unhealthy stuff and unhealthy attachments that are created in our relationships okay so i wish you a very nice day and bye bye